going on you guys this is madam and i'm coming back to you again this is from hollywood unlock and this is an update from um uh, a situation that had happened a woman in chicago her house was broken into by the chicago police department and she was nude and uh, this is the update of the chicago mayor, mayor. She apologizes to woman whose home was wrongfully raided by CPD. I am sorry. Okay. All right. So it says Chicago mayor apologizes to woman whose house was wrongfully raided by CPD. I am sorry. Mayor Lori Lightfoot of Chicago has apologized to the social worker who was handcuffed while naked after police officers burst into her home during a botched raid last year. We, As we previously reported, officers broke down the door to Anjanette's young apartment on February the 21st, 2019, as she was getting ready for bed. Not only did they force her to stand naked for more than 40 minutes, even as she told them that they had the wrong home, but they also placed cuffs, uh, placed her in cuffs until they realized she was no threat, not a threat, because they had the wrong person. The officers were looking for a 23-year-old suspect who allegedly had a gun, but they didn't verify the address before conducting the search warrant. The suspect lived in the unit next door to Young. It was also noted that the suspect had an electronic monitoring bracelet on and would have been easy to trace. Wow, that's crazy. Young recently obtained the footage after the court forced CPD to turn it over as part of her lawsuit against the police nearly two years after the big incident, which the city tried to hide from the public. Mayor Lightfoot is now offering an apology to the victim. As a human being, as a black woman, and as a parent, yes, I am mayor, but absent that reality. I could have easily been Miss Young and I have could put myself in her place. All of that is horrifying to me. Okay, it says Miss Young's dignity that she and all of us deserve was taken from her in those moments. Her obvious trauma and distress were real, profound, and resonated deeply with me, Lightfoot said Wednesday. We should all be shaken by what she was forced to experience, though through no fault of her own. Miss Young, knowing that my words will not change what happened to you and your family almost two years ago, I nevertheless say to you, I am sorry. And that is a statement from Mayor Lightfoot. Young's attorney, Kenan Salta, said that what happened to Young would have happened would have not happened were she white and living in a well-to-do neighborhood of Lincoln Park. Young on Wednesday morning filed a lawsuit over the city's denial of her Freedom of Information Act request seeking footage of the home invasion. Solta said he plans to file another lawsuit soon over the actions taken by the CPD officers in 2019. Okay. And I think we have the video. And again, this is courtesy of Hollywood Unlocked. A story about another bad raid by Chicago police that the city's legal team is trying to stop us from telling you. It involves an innocent woman getting handcuffed, naked, with a dozen male officers watching. Now, she wants you to see the body camera video, but tonight the city went to federal court to try to keep it secret. Here's CBS2 investigator Dave Savini. I just got home from work. And while I was undressing... In my bedroom, 
It was a cold February night, and Ann Jeanette Young, a social worker, had just finished her shift at the hospital. You see them running up to the apartment complex with the battering ram in their hand. A crowbar. It was so traumatic to hear the way the thing was hitting the door. And it happened so fast, I didn't have time to put on clothes. And suddenly, she found herself frozen in fear. Completely naked. In a room full of men. Nine body cameras rolling. And you're just standing there. And I'm just standing there. I mean, terrified, humiliated, not even understanding why in that moment that this is happening to me. And the first thing police reach for is not clothing. It's handcuffs. There were big guns and guns with lights and scopes on them. And they were yelling at me, you know, put your hands up, put your hands up. What are you thinking right now? I just remember, you know, being so afraid. It's one of those moments where I just felt like that I could have died that night. If I had made one wrong move, I felt like they would have shot me. I truly believe that they would have shot me. A police officer wraps a short coat around her shoulder, still leaving her front fully exposed. Even the sergeant in charge of the raid just stands there talking to her while she has nothing covering her. Then she gets a blanket. They just threw something over me. And my hands are behind my back and I'm handcuffed. So there was no way for me to secure the blanket that they put around me. But the blanket just keeps sliding open. More humiliation. You need to tell me what you're looking for. What are you looking for? You can see how some officers just stand there. Until this one, wearing a mask, sees what's happening and goes and holds it in place. It felt like forever for me. It felt like forever. Oh my God, this could not be right. How is this legal? Listen how she repeatedly tells the raid team they were in the wrong place. You got the wrong house. You got the wrong house. We count it. She says it at least 43 times. You got the wrong house. And she was right. They were in the wrong house. Our investigation uncovered police failed to do the most basic research before getting the search warrant approved. We found they simply took the word of an informant who gave them Anjanette Young's address. The informant claimed a 23-year-old man who was a known felon had a gun and ammo inside. I don't know who that person is. I've been living here for four years and nobody lives here but me. Okay. Okay, you have to show. I don't have to show. This is you got me in handcuffs, I'm naked, you kicked my house in, and I keep telling you, you got the wrong place. Then, during the raid, something happens. Watch as two of the officers go to their squad car and begin reviewing their notes about the warrant. CPD would not comment on what you're about to hear the officers saying a few minutes later. It wasn't initially approved or some crap. I have no idea, because, I mean, they told him it was improved, and then, I guess, that person messed up on their end. Messed up is an understatement. So, where was the target? Our investigation revealed he was awaiting trial on home confinement here at a different apartment in Anjanette Young's complex. How easy would it have been to locate him? Easy. Real easy. Because he was wearing a police tracking device an electronic monitoring bracelet. It's possible he could have even heard the raid happening because records show he was confined to the unit right next door. But I'm telling you it's wrong. I'm telling you to let me call somebody. Asking you to let me put some clothes on. I'll sit here and let you do whatever you need to do. But let me call somebody. Let me call an attorney because I'm telling you this is wrong. I have nothing to do with whoever this person is you're looking for. We found if they would have done a little bit more research, they might have found where the target actually lived. Yes. I think screw up was being too kind because ultimately this is a constitutional rights issue. Keenan so, Salter is Anjanette Young's attorney and is suing the police department. If this had been 
a young woman uh, in Lincoln Park by herself in her home, naked, a young white woman, let's just be frank, if the reaction would have been the same. I don't think it would have been. I think they would have saw that woman, rightfully so, as someone who was vulnerable, someone who deserved protection, someone who deserved to have their dignity maintained. They viewed Ms. Young as less than human. They did eventually walk her to a room to remove the handcuffs so she could get dressed, but then put them right back on and kept questioning her. There are no firearms in this place. There's no gun in this place. I'm a social worker. I've been a social worker for 20 years. I follow the law. I don't get in trouble for anything. I don't do illegal stuff. I'm not that person. You got the wrong information. At this point, the sergeant in charge of the raid tells the officer who got the warrant to step outside. Let's go talk outside. But you won't hear it because once outside, the body camera is shut off. Back inside Anjanette's home, another officer finally uncuffs her. She had been bound for 20 minutes. Listen as the sergeant returns with a new message. We believe your story. And you can see him trying to fix the door they busted so she could close it and lock it. But it was too damaged to repair, so watch as they try to find something to wedge it shut. They settle on an ironing board. Surreal? Surreal. It's almost like a bad movie. When I watch this, I feel like I'm watching a movie. But those are no actors. I'm no actor. This is my real life. And it happened to me. They're adding trauma to people's lives that will be with them for the rest of their lives. The work is warranted. They need to do the work. But they need to do it right. They can't just callously do it and leave people's lives in ruins because they got it wrong. The sergeant in charge apologized to her before he left. CPD has refused to comment on this case. It's been two years since the raid. And COPA, the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, says they're still in the process of trying to interview all of the officers involved. They did not say if anyone has been disciplined. At City okay, Hall. So you guys heard that for yourself. Um the woman a social worker she had been a social worker for over 20 years serving the community and she wasn't even afforded the time to even put her clothes on um i would think that this would be a traumatic experience for her no one expects to get off of work and get undressed and you know go about their daily life and then next thing you know someone is breaking down your door with a battering ram and a crowbar because they have a warrant that really wasn't even a warrant um due to what the officer said in the vehicle um it wasn't even approved so no one thought that it would be a good thing to like check check the address check the location um they also said that the young gentleman had um ankle monitoring bracelet on and my thing is it would have been easier to track him to his location his exact location but instead you went off the word of an informant uh this is not acceptable by any police department. Um, not just in Chicago, but any police department. I have been, um, you know, part of this as well. I've had an experience where police ran in my house and I had small children at the time and they were looking for a suspect with a gun. Um, and Lo and behold, there was no one there to fit that description. You know, just women and children, um, mainly, you know, and family. So I, I sympathize with this woman. Um, I hope she gets everything that she asks for. I hope she gets more than an apology, more than monetary gain. I hope through this that they will... Um, 
rewrite their policy on uh, doing raids and serving warrants, no knock warrants. Um, as famously and tragically, a couple of months ago, Breonna Taylor's life was taken as she slept her and her boyfriend in her home because they got the wrong address, uh, supposedly, allegedly. Um, and this has to stop. And I agree with the lawyer. Had it would have been a different section of Lincoln Park, and had it would have been a non-melanated person, they probably would have given that woman more dignity than they gave uh, Miss Young's. Um, so... I would like to hear your opinion on this. I definitely would like you to chime in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until then, you guys, I will talk to you later.